This video sparked an online viral storm about the new iPhone 6 smartphones and how they bend under pressure. From there, hashtag bendgate took off on social media. How much force does it take for a phone to bend and not bend back? So we took six smartphones, including the new iPhones, into our labs for stress testing. We used what's called an Instron compression test machine. Our test lineups? The iPhone 6 Plus, obviously, along with its comparably sized competitors, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the LG G3. We also tested the smaller iPhone 6, along with the HTC One M8. And for Apple fans still holding on to their iPhone 5, we threw that one in too. Even the phones that bent first, the iPhone 6 and HTC One, took 70 pounds of force before bending permanently. The iPhone 6 Plus took more punishment at 90 pounds. But its smaller, thicker precursor, the iPhone 5, outperformed both its siblings in our test with no noticeable deformation until 130 pounds of force. Finally, there was the LG G3 and Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which sprang back to form up until we applied 130 pounds and 150 pounds, respectively. At that point, their screens separated from their cases and stopped working. For comparison, we tested a few pencils in the Instron. It took 80 pounds of force to break four. A bent phone is bad, but can still function. All the iPhones in HTC One looked beat up after our initial tests, but were still working. So we went further to see how much more they could take. The iPhone 5 held out the longest of these four, maxing out at 150 pounds of force. Apple's official response is, with normal use, a bend in an iPhone is extremely rare, and through our first six days of sale, a total of nine customers have contacted Apple with a bent iPhone 6 Plus.